Mr. President, what are you doing with all the findings of um, those that are non-compliant, especially in the government sector? You talk about your, oh, you talk about, um, you talk about corruption, the supply cha chain management systems, and all that. What is your plan, Mr. President? How do you plan on tackling uh, job creation? Because uh, as the youth, we are struggling to find jobs and uh, we have to juggle working, work plus studying at the same time. So please help us there as the youth. just family uh, I hope that um, South African can grow together and that people stay in South Africa and don't leave South Africa for other lands and so together we can grow as uh, one big family if I can say so. We want to ask what's going on with the economy because right now things aren't looking great and people who are still living in shacks and stuff like that and who don't have water, it's not on. It honestly needs to change. Uh, we are all people and we have equal rights and I'd like to see a change in the next five years, not fake promises. People think just because we are women we cannot take, a part, we're not, we cannot take men roles. I'd like to see more women out there doing more jobs and more gender equality. I pray that God gives you the wisdom, strength and courage to serve our country well and that you focus on the minority, not just the majority. Um, my personal cry is can the party in charge not just make promises but fulfill them and also do not just visit the less fortunate communities when you want to be voted for but actually live upon the promises you made to them like providing food for them throughout, proper sanitation, proper electricity and actually as students to also follow up with the universities that students who are on the national uh, bursary that they get their funds at the right time and that they have actually what they need.